everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenge. Uh, welcome back to another quilting episode. I am still working on Pat Sloan's Sweet Dreams Mystery Quilt. Today I'm doing block number six, and block number six is called Let's Them Eat Cake. It is this block right here. It's going to be very easy. I actually made it already and filmed yesterday. So I'm just doing my intro and outro today. Um, it was an easy block, it really was. So if you are new to quilting, Pat Sloan is the best. She will teach you everything you need to know about quilting and then you can go on your own and do more complicated and, and crazy quilts if you want. Um, this is a mystery quilt. If you are new, basically what it means is that every week she issues a new block. There's 18 blocks all together for a standard type uh, twin size quilt. There's going to be nine in the middle. We're still working on those. And then there's a whole bunch of blocks and borders that go around um, that particular big square that's in the middle. And you don't know what the quilt is going to look like in the end. So this is why it's called a mystery. So in order for you to get started, you have to go on Pat Sloan's website. I'll put the link down below. And then you click on Sweet Dreams and follow the instructions. Um, whether it's for supplies, if you want to purchase some of the fabrics that she recommends. Or you can do, like me, uh, pick whatever fabric you have in your stash. Um, I happen to be doing um, a stash buster and rainbow colors. And then you just print block instructions. The block instructions are printable and they are for free. So you don't have to pay anything except for your fabric. For me, it's all free because I have the fabric already. So today is let them eat cake and I am going to make it in browns. Um, I said I was going to do all colors of the rainbow. Brown is not really a rainbow color, but I have brown fabric. So I'm going to use that. And I'm telling you, it's an easy one. I don't think this video is going to be more than 15 minutes because uh, it really didn't require too much. So as always, I'm going to get started with cutting the fabric and then we'll get going. Here we go. This block actually looks pretty easy. Uh, you need four squares, large square of one of your fabrics, and then you need six small square in another fabric that's a medium color, a six in a dark color, and you need eight in a light color. So these we're going to put aside because we're going to use them for the final block. So what you want to do is take um, the light colors and what we're going to do is do four patch so we got two here so you're going to take your light colors put them this way and here's my other two so we're going to place them like this and these are going to be separate squares okay so of those two get the dark color that's gonna go like this actually it's here and then this and this and then two get the medium color so that's here and 
here. Here and here. I'm going to move that somewhere else. And then the one in the middle is two of the medium color and two of the dark color. Alright, so we're making those four patches. So uh, let's start with this one since it's the closest to the camera. And it's super easy, okay? We're we'll do this one to this one, quarter of an inch seam, this one to this one, quarter of an inch seam. We're going to press them towards the dark side. That will give us two rows and then we'll take this row and put it over this, like this, and it will give us a perfect four square. And then I'll do the same thing with all five of them. And to save me some time, what I'm going to do is chain all of the top rows and then I'll chain all of the bottom rows. All right, so here we go. Quarter of an inch. Okay, so these are all the top rows and I'm going to do all of the bottom rows. mix them up. So I'm going to deal with all the top rows first. And what we're doing here is that we are pressing towards the dark side. Right? So here's the darker side and I am pressing towards it. So it should look like this. So here we are, I have this one, this one, this one, let's put them in a way where I can work, this one and this one, alright, and then this is for uh, this one. This is for this, this is for this, and these two go here. Alright, so same thing, one row to the other, quarter of an inch seam. The one thing you want to make sure is that your seams do match, so you're going to place this this way and you're going to do your very best at matching this seam with this one. One way to do this is to pull it like this until they are facing each other. Push it a little bit, that should be fine.
Okay, so now I'm ready for assembly. So, uh, how do we assemble this? We need these four large squares. I get one here, one here, one here, and one here. Now, if you have directional fabric, you may want to uh, check on that. Uh, I'm going to put those with the red leaves going up. I don't think it matters much. Okay, then you get one light square here, another light square here, and then this one goes here. And then this one goes here, and I am missing one. There we go, that's the last one. Okay, so we're gonna work uh, row by row. We're gonna do this row first, then this middle row, then this row. You do the same thing, this one to this one, quarter of an inch, this one to that one, quarter of an inch, same thing for all three. And then this row to this row and this row to this row. It's the same method whichever block you're doing. Um, I actually like the colors on this. So there you have it, I'll let them eat cake and I think this is starting to look really, really cool. Now I gotta think about what color do I want the next one. I think, I think the next one is probably gonna be yellow. Um, and then I'm missing one that's probably gonna have to be all the colors together and I may swap it with the middle one. But let's look at this one, on point, on point. On point yes and yes and it was super easy and I like it now you see how she designed it where you have the dark line here and the medium line here that's really cool that's one of the reasons why I love Pat Sloan um, okay so what do you think of this block I think it's pretty cool I gotta tell you I love how she did um, all of these one way and all of these one way you got to be careful with that when you do your uh, assembly uh, I just love it so give me a thumbs up if you like this instruction video and this particular block how do you like the quilt I'm making so far with the different colors and what I'm going to do now is give you a gallery of pictures that were sent to me from some of you who are doing the quilt along with me and who are doing the same quilt. So thank you ladies for sending me your pictures. Please keep sending them. I love everything you've done so far and your color choices. That's the beauty of quilting. Everybody's quilt is going to end up looking different just based on the material and the color combination that you are choosing. So... 
that would be it. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me, and guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it, or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.